Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to episode 3 of the Pokemon Red and Blue Randomized Nuzlocke Versus. I am but one person, so I cannot do a Versus alone. I am joined by none other than Jetpack Ahoy. How are you doing today, brother? Uh, I'm doing great, man. That was that was hella clever. You should be very proud of yourself for that. You know, sometimes you gotta switch it up. You can't just go <laughs> in with the same thing every time. <laughs> I say I about like punched my mic whenever I did that intro, so we, we almost had to scrap it. But <laughs> so if you guys missed the last episode, make sure you guys check it out. And link will be down in the description below. Um, I am starting to catch back up. I've got some decent Pokemon with some trash move sets, mm. but you know that's just Gen One in general. That's Gen One in a nutshell. <laughs> so. All right, uh, if you have the timer set, we can go ahead and get this thing started. Yeah. All, All right, right, I'm going to start in three, two, one, let's go. All right. Uh, I believe I need to run back to the Pokemon Center. Yes, I most certainly do. Ooh. I do too, and I almost forgot. If you wouldn't have said something, I probably wouldn't have. <laughs> Actually, I just found a potion. I might be able to make it all the way through. No, I'm not going to risk it. That's dumb. Yeah, I unfortunately have to release my Omastar, so... I'm sad. Sad panda. There's Vulpix in the Viridian Forest. I'm pretty sure I had a Repel on, though. But it might be because I have my Marowak in the front seat. Yeah. I'm so sad. Nick, you know how sad I am right now? Uh, I'm I... sure you have to be pretty sad. You lost your starter. Yeah, well, I'm so sad. I'm going to go play Fortnite and build a tower and kill myself. Mm. That's one effective way of doing it. Yeah, I mean, I'm just... That's how sad I am. My my one and only goal, I'm going to spawn in and just build a sky bridge and die. And then turn my PlayStation off and never play it again. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'm still trying to get better at like PC and keyboard. Just because I, I know I could be better at Fortnite if I got good on PC. But Yeah, I want to start playing on PC again. Um, I've just been playing on PlayStation so much because that's, ha that's what everybody has. Yeah, I, like, do, I do the same thing. But it, it's nice that you can play cross-platform, so it makes it Yeah, awesome. definitely. I just, right, I okay, this guy's got a Blastoise. That's awesome, because I have nothing to fight it with. Mm. That's that's. Should have picked that Raichu. I really should have. Like, I'd have been stuck with just Thundershock, <laughs> but at least it would have been... So oh my god! He just hit a crit water gun and almost destroyed my Ghastly. Oh... <sighs> Yeah, you, you gotta be careful. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up just training Marowak and Starmie because they've both got pretty good TM movesets and I'm just hopeful that I can find some TMs unless I get some good encounters after the gym. Otherwise That's it's fair. literally going to be a Doctor Strange solo run. <laughs> That's fair. I mean, plus they're, they're already evolved so they're pretty bulky. Yeah, that's they'll be true. Able, they'll be able to take a few hits for you if you need them to. That's kind of why I'm leaning on Damn Sonar, my Golbat, yeah, so yeah. hard. Because he doesn't do much damage, but he's pretty bulky, so he can eat up a couple of hits. Heck yeah. The good thing is, like, with the uh, the critical hit ratio... Ah, see, I walked all the way around for no reason. The critical hit ratio being based off speed, it makes yeah. it pretty good for my Kadabra. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, Kadabra, uh, Kadabra and Alakazam are monsters in first gen, man. Another they're jinx. Actually, they're just kind of monsters all the way up until the physical special split. Oh, yeah, for sure. Alright. I really need uh, this encounter on this route to be something good. I want to battle, like, wild Pokemon for experience, but this jinx just keeps using lovely kiss. Mm-hmm. Tell me about it. I had to deal with one of those in the last episode. Uh, he's got two... Oh, my God. He has two Blastoise? Uh-huh. <laughs> what? Well, I think it was, he's originally a bug catcher, and he had, like, two... Caterpie or Caterpies or two Weedles or something like that. It's kind of wild. Caterpies are uh, randomized into Blastoise. And yet I couldn't find a Blastoise in Viridian Forest. Nope. <laughs> nope, I, instead I found a Zapdos that I couldn't catch. And that's the other thing, is like legendaries you cannot catch like hardly in nope. Gen 1 games with the Pokeball at least. 
Nope, oh, God, it will miss weapons. every time. There we go, get that crit. Sonar coming through. Uh-oh, don't die, don't die, okay. Scurry. Alright. Oh, that's why, this guy is hacking, he's a developer. Hmm. Yo, I found a rare candy. There you go. I need some of that luck. Actually, I don't want a rare candy. I want a Master Ball and then find a Mewtwo. Dude, is that I too will much? Is that I will too find much a to ask, Ball. You think? I don't think that's no, too much. To that's, ask. No, you just phone it in. Yeah, yeah, I got this. This guy's got Eradicate at level nine. That could be kind of troublesome. Little did you know, I actually uh, went through and manually changed everything, so I know where everything is in my game. I'm just kidding. You bastard. <laughs> oh, I can't touch this Kangaskhan. Okay, not with, not that red cape anyway. hits pretty hard. Um. Oh yeah, if he's got super or hyper fang, that's gonna hurt. No, he just has quick attack, but it, it did 14. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use this potion. I threw a pokeball at it. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> and it used quick attack again. <laughs> that time it was a crit. God damn it. That's so dumb. <laughs> All right, I use Tail Whip. I should be able to kill it. You better hope, cause he just lowers your defense. Yeah, but I'm I'm at 28 HP now. <laughs> so, all right, yeah, we all killed right. it. And I'm about to be out of the Viridian Forest, so I can heal up, and then uh, I might I might grind for a hot second. My this Golbat is gonna end up being such a higher level than my Ghastly. It's so hard okay. to train Ghastly. Cause my uh. My Kadabra is at level 13, and I know Brock's highest level Pokemon is level 14. Correct. And if it's something that just completely bodies me, I'm going to be able to take it out with Confusion and like, one or two hits. But, I mean, honestly, what could he have that would just body you? Um, uh, Anything with super high attack. I guess. But you're going to outspeed it. Yeah, that's true. And if we get some luck from the crits or something... Wait, your Kadabra is level 13? Yeah. My highest level Pokemon is level 13. <laughs> no, it's 14 now. I lied. 14. I'm winning again. <laughs> yeah, my uh, my Marowak is at level 7, and my Kadabra is at level 13. Oh, we just sent out a Snorlax. The only reason I'm going to keep training Marowak is because it has Bone Club. Yeah. Even though it's not, like, 100% accurate. It's still uh, a good move. I can buy one potion. Hard. I might... Is there anything I can sell? Oh, the headbutt. Ugh. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Is it worth selling a rare candy to get potions? Um, This early in the game, I would say yes. Alright, that's that's what I was thinking. Because, I mean, you're going to get levels so fast anyways that it's pretty much pointless, whereas you're not going to get any levels if you're dead. Yeah, so I, I've got like nine potions now, so I, I should be good to take on the gym leader when that time comes. I'm gonna go try to grind up Marowak for a minute or two. Get it to, like, at least level Damn. That was 10. some big damage on that tentacle. That's a lot of damage. My goal is by, like, the end of episode, like, four or five to be completely caught up. Uh, honestly, I can see that happening. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I can see the patch of grass. One more battle between me and my next encounter. Alright, Marowak's level 8 now. And then I should be, actually I should be able to get two, think, three encounters right now, I think. Oh, uh, Marowak doesn't have that high of speed. I mean, it's it's decently speedy, but it's not, like, over the top like Kadabra is. Yeah. The thing that sucks is, like, I can't use the speed up button to grind. Yeah. So, as long as Bone Club keeps hitting, though, I'm pretty much one-hit KOing everything. That's good. That's good. Alright, get this star you out of here. That should be some okay experience. 250 to... experience. It's not bad. It's, it's pretty good. I think there's, like, only Marowax in this little area. That's all oh. I keep finding. He's got a Hitmonchan. Luckily, I have a Flying type. But he's going to have Comet Punch, I think, which is a normal type move. That's probably going to hurt a bit. Yep, there it is. Yeah, and it hits two to five times. Yep. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's only Marowaks in here. Oh, this one's level 5, okay. I really wish I had Wing Attack. That'd be really nice right now. I missed the Bone Club. Yeah, Wing, wing Attack would be pretty good. And he's I had, uh, I had Gusts on that uh, Pidgeotto I had, but whenever I went up on a Rock-type Pokemon, it didn't really help. Yeah. That Pidgeotto you had once upon a time. Once upon a time. See, now he's raising his speed. and I'm, Okay, I killed it, but I was really scared that he was going to get like a crit Comet Punch and hit me five times. <laughs> Dude, it happens. That would it, be and it would, it would happen to brutal. me. Alright, got All right, through that battle. Uh, Alright, come on. Yep, got around her without the encounter. I'm trying to get to this Pokemon Center without getting an encounter. Yeah, because you got that Route 3 encounter, I think, right there in the yeah. corner. And then... I don't know if I can get yeah, past see, it. There we go, there we go, yeah. Yeah, you should be able to get like three encounters this episode. Alright, I made it to the Pokemon Center without getting that encounter, so I'm gonna heal up, I'm gonna get this Magikarp, and then I'm gonna go back and get that encounter. That, that should be randomized. It should be, yeah. It's, uh, I think it's programmed as a static encounter. Yeah, it should be. I hope it's like a Caterpie or something. Oh, thanks, bud. <laughs> it's a Voltorb. That's not bad. No. It's probably gonna have Sonic Boom. Yeah, uh, that's Sonic pretty Boom. broken. Okay. Yo, it's a Metapod. Uh, what do I name you? What do I name this Voltorb? Um, uh, Static Shock. <laughs> that probably won't fit, though. Uh, no, nah, it'll be short. I'll just name it Static. That works. Let's take a look at you. It's only level 5, so that sucks, but... It's got Tackle yeah. and Screech. Mm. Let's do a little bit of switch training. I don't but know when it learns a uh, Sonic Boom. I don't know. I'll look it up later. All right, Route Three. There we go. What do we got? First encounter. It's another Omastar. <laughs> I mean, you could choose to catch it again, uh, or you can uh, call dupe. But the problem is that it's gonna be that it's a uh, it's a fossil Pokemon, so its it, its catch rate is gonna be like impossible. Um, yeah, that's a good point. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna call dupes. Try again. Voltorb learns Sonic Boom at level 17. Oh, by level by level 17, it's not very useful anymore. No, <laughs> it's kind of like when playing Pokemon Yellow using Pikachu, like after, after okay, the so, second gym. Okay, uh, so Static may not be staying on the team. Because I just found an Electabuzz. Yo. <laughs> and Electabuzz is quite a bit better than Voltorb and Electrode. The only thing is, like, I'm only going to have Bone Club with uh, my uh, Marowak until, like, for a long time. So you I'm hoping hope I find you... some TMs. Yeah, you better hope you don't find, uh, you don't come across some flying type and you can't touch it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've still got Kadabra, so I should be alright. Alright, well, Static is dead. Well, that lasted long. Oh, I hope he doesn't have an Electric-type move yet, because if so, Sonar here is going to be in trouble. So far, he's only re he's only used Quick Attack. Mm. Whoa, that did way too- that did so much more damage than I thought it was going to do. That, that Leech Life almost took half of this Electabuzz's Buzz HP. All right, let's go, Pokeballs. All right, uh, I'm going into oh. the gym. It's only rolling once. Battle this first guy. I can't lower your HP any more than it's already at, Electabuzz. Just stay in the ball, please. All right, let's see what this trainer has. I'm going to say he's like level... He's got an Executor. Oh, boy. Please stay in the ball. Mm, is this executor? It's probably gonna Got have it. like leech life or something, isn't it? 
Uh, what level is it? It's got hypnosis. So, that's neat. <laughs> it's level 11. Oh, Ghost Rider already woke up. It's got barrage. Yeah, I think that's all it's going to have is hypnosis and barrage. Which is good. Yeah, because it does. It, the yeah, only other does nothing. Wow, the only other move that it learns is stomp at level twenty-eight. That's good. All right. Um. Yeah, that Electabuzz is just gonna have Leering Quick Attack. Yeah. It doesn't learn uh, Thunder Shock until level thirty-four. What? I see. That's oh. the thing with the randomizer, especially like in Gen One. They uh, like normally you would find an Electabuzz in the power plant at like level yeah. forty. Yep. So. <laughs> Nickname you trash. <laughs> uh. All right, Doctor Strange. I need you to wake up. Actually, I'm gonna name it Kinetic. You have to protect the time stone. I need you to wake up. <laughs> yeah, Kinetic's cool because it's a form of energy that you build up as you get going. So like he he'll be more powerful later in the game. See, I'm getting mm. that here. I see what you did there. Yeah, clever, clever. That's pretty clever. I need right. my cadaver to wake up. Dude, this is ridiculous. It just keeps going for barrage and I'm asleep. <laughs> yeah, barrage is kind of scary too. Oh my god, I, I have 5 HP. <laughs> I bet you wish you had that Pidgeotto. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, Static, it was nice while it lasted, buddy. Alright, he's missed two barrages in a row. I can hit him with Confusion, it's not going to be very effective. God damn it. As long as he doesn't hit me with or Hypnosis or Barrage, I'll slowly take out this Executor. You can do it. He, he just keeps missing, so... And I keep getting crits, so that helps. And now I'm back asleep. Alright, now let's head into Mount Moon. And now Probably should go back barrage. and battle those other trainers, but I'm not going to. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> at this point, there's no... Alright, TM26, what are you? I'm just trying to make sure I don't get bodied by this executor. Oh, it's missed. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I mean, you can always sell it. Yeah. I just found a leaf stone. Alright, thank God you missed barrage. Wake All right. up! Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, this guy's got an execute. I'm in the past, bro. I'll kill that executor before it even exists in your timeline. Dude, you're gonna have to, because it's... <laughs> I got so you, you're causing bro. me problems. It's a good thing uh, I bought all those potions. It also has barrage. <laughs> For real. Like, if it, if it hits five times, like, I automatically have to use a potion. Because if it would hit another five times, I'd die. Yeah. Alright, thank God you missed. Wake up. <laughs> Wake me up before you go, go. But leave me hanging oh, we got on a crit my on that yo yo. One. Wake me up when September ends. Because <laughs> it's going to be freaking September. That was, the first, that was the first song I learned how to play on guitar. Oh my God. Oh my god. Quit it. Quit it. Quit it. Quit it. <laughs> Stop doing what you're oh doing. Oh my god, I lost my Kadabra. What the fuck? Really? Yeah, it got a crit barrage. And it does a crit every single time. Oh. Son of a bitch. And now he's put my Marowak to sleep. <laughs> like, I was, I was not, not having good luck. So, like, I was literally at, like, I think I was at 27 HP, so normally Barrage was doing 4, so it would do 20, but if it gets a crit, it does 30, like, total, because it would do 6 each time, it's not a crit on each individual one. Yeah. You know, I have not encountered a single Pokemon in Mount Moon yet. There oh, we go, first terrible. encounter. It's a I Lickitung. Still should be able to kill this Executor, because I've got Marowak. But... I no longer have a Kadabra, which... That sucks. I might, I might cry. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. My Electabuzz just lived on one. 
Yeah, I thought I thought my cadaver was gonna live on one, but it didn't. I was like, please be lucky and just hit four times. It hit five don't, times. Don't use rap on me. All right, Ghost Rider's level eleven. So now I'm definitely gonna have to grind up. <laughs> and this guy, okay, he's got a coughing. So, um, it's my health self destruct. So I'm just gonna go ahead and heal up to full health. I was about to say if you does. if you bone club him, it'll probably kill it. Yeah, it should. I just didn't want to risk it. Yeah, for sure. No, it's a two-hit KO, but that's fine. I don't think it has self-destruct. It's got uh, tackle and smog. I'm so sick that's... of Pokemon popping out of these Pokeballs. Like, I just need you to stay put, please. All right, yeah, I have to train up because my highest level Pokemon is level eleven. <laughs> yeah. And I lost my Kadabra, so. It's gonna be. I, okay. I just needed. I needed to hit it one more time, and that was it. And I would have. Yeah. <sighs> One more time. I'm sad now. It's time to celebrate. Oh yeah. Now you know the feeling, man. That's how I felt when my Oma Star got taken from me. Goodbye, Doctor Strange. I miss <laughs> you. I'm gonna name this like a tongue Mystique. I don't know why. That's just uh, the first name that came to mind. Let's hold a moment of silence for Doctor Strange. We need some Fs in the chat. <laughs> Press F to pay respects. Alright, uh... Well, I have Marowak at level 11, and then... All my other Pokemon are like at level 3. <laughs> I've got a level 7 Electabuzz, a level 10 Lickitung, 12 Ghastly, and 15 Golbat. Because if Brock has a water type, I am screwed. Yeah, that's gonna suck. Ah, uh... oh, there's Kabutops in here. That would have been way cooler. Beedrill is part of flying, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's flying poison, I think. Or poison flying, technically. Hopefully I can get some good EXP out of this Metapod here. I think if I get Ghost Rider to level 14, I'll go in. It's not a guard spec. Gross. <laughs> Gross. Then I found a Repel. How much time is left on the timer? <sighs> Three minutes. Three minutes. I am not making any progress. <laughs> <laughs> I got out of the Viridian Forest, I made it to Peter <laughs> City, but... Um, having some trouble here. I found a second leaf stone. You can sell those. Oh, there's Electabuzz inside of Mount Moon as well. I'm going to be very, very careful proceeding forward. I would say so. Because a water type or a grass type is going to cause me some trouble. <laughs> yeah. A grass type straight bodies my whole team. You can do it. I sure hope so. Well, it's like you said, you just gotta play a little more careful. I mean, there's only so much you can do at the beginning of the game, because we have limited choices on the Pokemon that we have, but... Yeah. Why does this Electabuzz's quick attack hurt so damn much, and mine doesn't? Because you get, you get a weak boy. Apparently. He's extra small. Right. Doesn't go to the gym. Skips mm -hmm. leg day. That's the problem, he, he skips leg day, so his quick attack is weak. Yeah, I can see it. Shame. All right. If I can somehow get to like level 14 in the next minute, I might be able to take on Brock before this episode ends. <laughs> you got a minute and 40 seconds. Okay, yeah, that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> and I, I may just take my time and get it up to like level 16 just to be safe. Yeah. I'm playing like hella reckless right now to be honest with you I'm like skipping all these trainers in Mount Moon which just means that I'm gonna have like, there's still quite a bit that you have to do before you can fight Misty yeah like all there of Nugget really Bridge is. and going up to Bill and all that stuff uh 
I'm just trying to grind it out here because all there all there is is like marrow wax in here. Yeah. And that does it doesn't give me a whole lot of XP, but it gives me more than the metapods do. Yeah. But I, I'm I'm just kidding. At least at least metapods point. are easy experience though. So. Yeah, if I hit bone clubs, it it is. Yeah. Oh, there's wild Hypno in here. That would have been cool. Yeah, Hypno have been pretty good. Hopefully I get another chance to catch a Kadabra or something, but it's going to have Teleport too, so, like... Yeah. If Master somehow ball. I get a Master Ball <laughs> and have the opportunity to catch a Kadabra or Alakazam or something, I'm going to Oh, there's Hypno-only in here. Uh, we are at, in the final countdown of this episode. we got five seconds. All right. I'm gonna counter one more wild and Oh, uh, I think I just, I think yeah, my Electabuzz is dead. That's a way to end off the episode. Dead Electabuzz. I got stuck in battle. Uh, I couldn't escape from the hit only and use double kick. Killed me. Bruh. Uh, I guess I'll switch out to Poseidon. And try to take out this Beedro real quick. Get some EXP. I was almost oh, outside. Oh, this has Fury Attack. I was almost okay, out of Mount Moon one. too. Yeah, you're you're still you're still a full episode ahead of me. So. <laughs> Again, though, I'm not playing very safely. Like I'm literally skipping all of these trainers. So I'm losing out on a lot of experience. Yeah, I, I think if it gets to the point to where we're far enough, we might just both restart. <laughs> so I I feel like that would make the most sense instead of just making one. Because like if you're like four badges in, you're yeah. like, oh no, you got to restart. Yeah, that wouldn't make a lot of sense. Yeah, because you would just never catch up. No. Alright, I'm still fighting a bee drill. <laughs> I'm standing in one spot. <laughs> okay, I gotta hit it one more time. It keeps going for Fury Attack and it keeps hitting like four or five times. So it takes forever. Alright, well if it's taking forever, then I'm not gonna stand in one spot. <laughs> so the rules. Huh? So this is the rules, you gotta stand there. Uh uh I'll stand here. Alright, Poseidon grew to level 6. I wouldn't really even try to level Poseidon up, but... Alright, I am out of that battle. Ghost Rider is still level cool. 12. Oh, man. Alright, um, yeah, it sucks that I lost my Kadabra, but I, I, I've got some grinding to do before I take on the Peter Gym. I'm not trying to lose again. <laughs> I lost, like, two Pokemon in this episode. Yeah, it, 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 <laughs> it's definitely been rough for both of us, so... We just haven't had very good encounters so far. No, ho hopefully things... Uh, get better for us in the future yeah i agree but so we're gonna go ahead and get out of here i hope you guys enjoy this episode make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button down below and make sure you guys are subscribed to continue watching the series because odds are one of us is gonna lose again <laughs> so it'll probably be me but all right any final words yeah i'm not losing oh okay all right <laughs> all right Nah, man. But, I'm all the way up, bro. I'm winning this thing. We all the way up. Yeah. See, see you guys next time. Peace.